once again another zeroing event here in rise of kingdoms if you love players being zeroed here in rise of kingdoms consider subscribing and turn your notification on because we here are showing you all these battles Oh my goodness, remember we published the part one video of God damn it being zeroed. And here is part two. If you like this type of video, go and smash that thumbs up so we know what you're looking for in Rise of Kingdoms. Or maybe you just love seeing somebody get wrecked. Well, this is it. Well, he is also um, about to quit. Or I think he already quit. This is one of the reasons why he's letting uh getting rallied in here um we talked a little bit more of the background of what's happening in the part one so if you haven't seen the part one yet make sure to go into our channel and go find the part one of this video i'll put a card up here in the link as well in the top right hand corner so if you guys want to check it out go ahead and check it out you can see this massive swarming from the enemy side artemisia stand no chance with hundreds of of hundreds of thousands of troops swarming that city they were managed to break down of course there's a trade-off as well right as you're hitting the city you're getting a lot of casualties a lot of deads so we have a uh, artemisia and tamiris you can see the aoe working in wonders the people that are attacking from the backhand side is actually benefiting onto this because they're not getting hit by the AOE, the forward fan shape area AOE. Look at that Guan Yu Alexander gets melted as it's not, you know, there's not a lot of a team in here. I'm attacking and uh, yeah, he is going out back in the round. I don't know if he's going to get hit by the AOE. Um, did not, did not. They kind of stopped in there because there was too much heat going on, too much attack. They're now mobilizing again. I don't know what's their plan in here. You know, when you're attacking this one by one, it's definitely going to hurt. The trade is not worth it when you're hitting it one by one like this. Look at this Aethel Fled quickly melting. It's an Aethel Fled and Pelagius Bubble Jim. Bubble Jim is also, um, you know, killing his own teammates because of the AOE of um, the Artemisia as well. Now we got back the Constantino YSG in here we've got Richard we got Adolfled well wow. honestly this is a good easy easy way to get some kills by doing this with god damn it right now honestly it's a great thing uh what he is doing at this moment um yeah it's wonderful guys that's awesome if you guys like this like I said smash that thumbs up you know just defending by himself amongst all the enemies hungry to get all that points hungry to get kills the best part about the season of conquest is that you don't get 100 percent deads so you get 50 percent that is dead and uh it's not a bad idea right now here's another uh another battle there's a rally of attila attila rally and I don't know if they're going to swarm. So this is like the perfect time for them to swarm because the Attila is the one tanking, right? Attila is tanking right there. But it seems like they don't need to swarm it. Attila is breaking down this Artemisia. Like I said, this is part two already. So he has been taking a lot of damages, some deaths already from the previous battle that we have uh, shown. And um, God damn it is about to quit the game. Um, I've mentioned in the previous video how he wants to kind of focus back into the life and he wants to focus back with, you know, um, with his girlfriend, get back into the relationship, trying to make sure that thing is smooth about you. Get wow, wow. Right. And um, look at that. He is now getting swarmed. Our archer gang fellow. Hmm. Wow. A lot of resources have been looted from that. And, um, as I'm just watching in here, mesmerizing on all these troops, going at it, going for it. Wonderful thing to see. All right, we got Minamoto dead. We got, I think he switched to YSG, did he? I think he switched to a YSG. Very smart switch uh, for that when he is getting swarmed like that. A switch for YSG as a secondary, hitting 
a lot of players on the side is wonderful because you're getting a very, very good trade. He's like, bring it on, baby. I got it. I got it all. Having that YSG in the secondary is wonderful. As these guys are just moving around, there's definitely a lot of casualty. But they've got a lot of players, right? There's got a lot of players. And, um, wow. Look at that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So many sad faces as well as they go home. You can see that he really racked up a lot of points by doing this um, battle uh, with these um, you know, players that are trying to loot him and trying to swarm him, trying to get the kills. He's out for blood as well, and they are out for blood. What is the next thing that we're going to see in here? Are we just like in the standoff right now? I'm not sure if there's going to be any movements right now. Um, let me take a look in here. All right, fast forward into that. We have a rally coming down. It is a another Attila. It's still a fan favorite. Using Attila as one of the rally captains or rally leaders is still a big fan favorite um, here in Rise of Kingdoms. We've got a lot of players swarming the city again. And this time he had switched it to Tomiris. As we can see, the poison stack. I don't know if you'll be able to see the poison stack, but it is getting poison stack. And there is no circular AoE. There's so much feasting on this city. How do you feel about this? Consider this. What if you are in this position? What if you are the one being swarmed? How would you react? Would you even be taking it? How would you feel? Can you handle it? This is a real question. Are you man enough to take it? Are you man enough to handle it? All right. Oh my goodness. I like the quick switch that he's doing. As everybody swarms, he switches into YSG, allowing him to get more kills on the sides, which is wonderful. Very, very smart uh, gameplay. A very high IQ uh, switcheroo in there. A lot of people just swarming it. He is definitely racking up on kills with that YSG. Very amazing. Now, okay, he had shielded up in here. What is next? Is he done for the day? Now that he had shielded up, probably have to focus on repairing or sorry, healing the troops, repairing all these damages that has been occurred uh, on his account. It might take a little bit of resources to really gain that back and speed up as well. But hey, he has decided that he is not looking forward to play the game anymore. And he's taking, you know, saying that, hey, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm done. Uh. I just want to go all out as my last battle, my last moment of memory, and have Shin record this as a, um, you know, memory for his gaming here in Rise of Kingdoms. Okay, he looks like he had came out. We can see a Ramses out there fighting in the open field by himself. Ah, uh, So, I'm not sure what's next, what is going to happen right now. All right, we've got more coming in in here. Buck the Great, Buck the Great, Buck the Great. There's a lot of Buck the Great there. Um, Leo Dima. And, oh, wow, there's a rally. There's a Nebuchadnezzar rally. Can that archer rally beat the archer defense? Can it? It's a Nebuchadnezzar YSG. Oh, my goodness. Insane amount of damages. Whoo! Taking that, tanking it is it's unbelievable. Wow. That's that's insane. Now, goddammit is a low spender player. So this is something if he decided to continue, this is a major blow into the account, major hurt into it. They continue to swarm after the rally had succeeded. Continue to swarm it. The eighth of flight is now falling. The eighth of flight is going down. We got more troops there in the yellow bar. We got Artemisia, we got Ramses, we got Guan Yu, we got Leonidas, we got uh, Genghis Khan, Saladin, uh, Richard, Alex, Charles, Belisarius joining in the fight. Another Saladin trying to piggyback in here. It's absolutely intense. It's crazy. It's heartbreaking as well because seeing all these troops die for this. But, you know, it's for a cause, right? He is... Fighting our enemy, going out like a warrior at the end of the day. He is giving it all out for the glory, for Rise of Kingdoms. He is a fighter. He doesn't just want to quit and leave the game without fighting on his 
last breath. He is, God damn it. And um, wow. Very good switch, like I said, because we have the YSG. A lot of kills, really. It's a great point if you're looking for points. This is one good way to do it. It's amazing. Wow, look at all these swarms. Wow. Look at that. Genghis Khan dying now. Leonidas, Guan Yu is about to fall. That Ramses is about to get knocked out as well. The Ramses is backing out. Doesn't want to get killed in action. No KIA for Ramses. KIA for who? Okay, Guan Yu also retreated. Saladin seems like he is still fierce. Oh, the, the, uh, it stopped. They have defeated the city. But Saladin, oh, sorry, it's not Saladin. Genghis Khan still continues to keep on going. The Charles Martel getting hit hard in there. I think there's a little bit of a heal from Constantine up there. Hmm. Wonderful, wonderful scene to see. Wow. Imagine this swarming that city. The adrenaline for both players, the offense and defense. It's absolutely insane. They've okay, there we go. God damn it have now teleported. He is now done. He is good for the day. It's over. This was the last moment of God damn it fighting our foes in KVK. With that being said, guys, if you like this video, if you like the commentating, smash that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so as we create regular Rise of Kingdoms content in this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun playing the game.